Christian. The term is used in many different ways, applied to many different things and many different people. But what does it really mean? Well, words create ideas in our heads. And when it comes to an important idea, it's important that we get the word right. So what does the word mean? Well, let's look at the Bible's definition. Why is it that the Bible is the best place to go to define the term Christian? In the New Testament, we find the original documents that refer to Christians. For instance, Acts chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. Here we have a reference to two of the early messengers of Jesus' teaching, Barnabas and Saul. It says, So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. And for a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And in Antioch, the disciples were first called Christians. In the first century Greco-Roman world, one did not refer to going to a school, but rather going and learning from a certain teacher. For instance, those who followed after the philosophy of Socrates were known as disciples of Socrates. And even in Jewish circles, a person who followed after the teachings of the rabbi Gamaliel were known as disciples of Gamaliel. So when people started listening and following after the teachings of Jesus, they were known as disciples or learners of Jesus. And then they're called Christians. Now we're getting down to the Bible definition of Christian. It simply means to be a follower of Christ or an adherent of Christ. And literally the term means to be one of Christ. Words change over time. If you look in a dictionary from a hundred years ago, under the term net, it would say nothing about communication and information through computers. If you looked up the word cell, it would not say anything about telephones. And also, over the last 2,000 years, the term Christian has been stretched and strained to mean different things. But this is the Bible's definition, simply a follower of Christ. This means that to be a Christian has nothing to do with being a member of a certain society or a certain family, and it doesn't really in its essence have anything to do with being part of a religious organization. Very simply put, when the Bible talks about a Christian, it talks about one who is a follower of Christ. So how does one connect to Jesus Christ today? He lived 2,000 years ago, so with that much space between us and Jesus, how does one know about him and know how to follow him? Well, in the next video installment, we'll address that question.